We continue now at the top of Daf Mem Gimel Amid Beis in Maseches Pesach Pesachim Daf Forty Three B. The Gemara here is continuing to explain the position of Rabbi Eliezer, and the Gemara explains that when it says when a person eats Machmetzas Venichrasa, it really means to include that even women can get kares for eating chametz on Pesach. Now, why do you need that? Isn't there a general rule that men and women are equal when it comes to punishments? The Gemara says no. I might have thought It says don't eat chametz for seven days. You should eat matzah. So I might have thought, anybody who has the positive commandment to eat matzah also has the negative commandment regarding chametz. So when it comes to women, since they don't have the positive commandment of eating matzah, because eating matzah is a positive commandment that is time-bound, it's a mitzvah which women are potter from, so I might have thought that they also don't have the prohibition uh, of eating chametz. And that's why we need this pasuk over here to say, that when women eat chametz on Pesach, they also will get kares. So the Gemara now says, Now that we know that women are included in the prohibition of eating chametz, it's rabbi nami lachilas matzah. We actually work the limud the other way and say that they're included in the commandment to eat matzah. Kir Rabbi Eliezer, like Rabbi Eliezer says, the Yomar Rabbi Lazar, because Rabbi Lazar says, Noshim chayovos bachilas matzah dvar Torah, that women are chayev to eat matzah on a doraisa level, even though you might have thought it's a mitzvah sasei shazma angroma. Shenema, how do we know that? Because the Pasuk says, lo sochal alav chametz v'gomer, it says, don't eat chametz, meaning, kol sheyeshno babal tochal chametz, meaning anyone who's involved in the prohibition to eat chametz, yeshno bachilas matzah, again, the Pasuk goes on to talk about matzah, the two are compared, that same individual is going to be chayev in eating matzah on Pesach, v'hani nashi, so therefore when it comes to women, nami also, ho'el v'yeshno babal tochal chametz, since they are in the prohibition of eating chametz, yeshnon bekom achol matzah, they're also going to have the positive commandment uh, to eat matzah. So the Gemara says, Umai chazis the high call the Rebuye Nashim, Umifka se ruvo. The Gemara says in, within Rebbe Eliezer, how do you know that the word call over here includes women, but does not include eating a mixture, meaning if you eat a mixture of chametz, you don't get kares? How do you know? Emol the Rebuye ruvo. Maybe on the contrary, maybe this word call over here by kares means to say if you eat a mixture, you're going to, uh, you're going to have kares. So the Gemara answers, Mistabra, it's logical, koi ba'ochlin mar ba'ochlin. If the Pasuk is talking about those who eat, meaning ki kol ochel machmetzes, one who eats chametz, v'nechus is going to get kares. So in that case, if it's koi ba'ochlin, mar ba'ochlin, we're probably mean to include people who are eating, meaning women, individuals, humans. We're saying ki kol ochel machmetzes, anyone who eats is going to get kares. What do you mean anyone, even women? So in, in, and that's what we would, that's the logical limut. Are you going to say that we're talking about people eating and then you're instead going to include what is being eaten? Say, Oh, you know what we mean? Anyone who eats, meaning even if you eat chametz, that's a tarovas, that's a mixture. Doesn't make sense. The whole point of the Pasuk is talking about who is doing the eating, not what is being eaten. Gemara asks on this answer, So Rav Nasan, the father of Rav Huna, asked the following question. Is that really true? Is it really true that when a Pasuk is talking about the Ochlin, we're, we're not going to include that which is being eaten? But we learned in a Brisa, Pasuk says anyone who eats Chelev uh, from an animal which you bring as a carbon. So the Brisa Darshan says, I only know it's a problem of eating Chelev. Chelev is a certain kind of fat in the animal. So I only know it's a problem if you're eating fat from an animal which has no blemish, because such an animal is fit to be brought in the Mizbeach. How do I know to include even the chelav of an animal with a blemish which you wouldn't bring on the Mizbeach? Because again, the context of the Pasuk is Asher Yakrav that you bring on the Mizbeach. So how do you know to include a Balmum? Talmud Lomer, Min HaBehema, it says Min HaBehema, so it comes to include even an animal with a Mum. And the Brisa continues, Chelev Chulin Minayin. How do we know? Let's say it's not even a carbon at all. Let's say it's chulin. Let's say it's something that was just a regular normal animal. So for that, Talmud Lomar, ki kol. Pasuk says, ki kol. So you see they're learning from the word kol. Now this is, what are we learning? We're learning from the word kol what kind of chaylev is aser, even though the subject of the Pasuk is ochel, is the people who are eating. So that's what the Gemara asks, but over here, to kai ba'ochlin, we're talking about those who are eating. And yet we're including certain kinds of food, things which are being eaten. So the Gemara says, no, And over there, there's no ochlin to include. We don't have anything to learn in that in that regard. 
So therefore, we include that which is being eaten. Here, where we have the possibility of including those who are eating, we're not going to leave that aside and include that which is being eaten. So the Gemara now asks, Now, according to the Rabbonon, so they don't hold of this, uh, of this idea of a mixture, so call lo darshi. Apparently, they don't, they don't darshan call. So if that's the case, how do they learn out women? And Rashi over here explains, and the Gemara asks, So the Rabbanon who argue on Rabbi Eliezer be'eruv the chametz, when it comes to chametz, which is part of a mixture. Came on the leslu lav be'eruv, so since obviously they don't have a lav when it comes to chametz in a mixture, pshita kol dechsev gabe azhara dechol machmetzas lo darshi. Obviously, they're not darshaning the word kol when it says kol machmetzas lo sochelu. The hashda al karchach, so if that's the case, kol degabe kares lo rebuya nashim nami lo darshi. What about the kol by kares, which was meant to include women? Apparently, they're not going to darshan that. So if they're not darshaning that, where are they learning out that women are chay of kares? That's going to that's gonna open up this question. So to that, the Gemara answers, kol lo darshi. They don't darshan the word kol. Ki kol darshi. But if it says ki kol, ki kol ocha machmetzas v'nichrasa, that they're willing to darshan. That's how they learn out that women get kares. For Rabbi Eliezer, okay, if that's the case, so let's ask on Rabbi Eliezer. Ema kol rabos asanasha. Maybe the word kol includes women. Ki kol rabos aseiruvo. And the word ki kol includes, even if it's in a tarovas, you should get kares for a mixture. V'chi teiman, maybe you're going to answer, ki kol Rabbi Eliezer lo darish. The Rabbi Eliezer doesn't darshan when it says ki kol. That's not true. V'atani, we learned in a brisa. Seor bal taktiru. The Pasuk says that seor, you're not allowed to burn. This is talking about by carbon mincha. So the brisa says, ain't li kulo. I only know all of it. Miksaso minayin. How do we know even if a part of it is seor? Talmud lomar, kol. So the Pasuk says kol. A ruvo minayin, and how do you know a mixture also? Talmud Lomar, ki kol. Pasuk says, ki kol. Rashi over here explains. Again, talking about the fact that seor is not allowed to be burned on the Mizbeach as part of a korban mincha, ain't li alakulo bizman shakola hector min asor. I only know it's a problem if the entire burning is seor. Miksaso, but let's say part of it. Meaning, chatsi zayis sheino hector shalom. You only burn a part of it as seor. Dein haktara pchuso mi kezayis. That less than a kezayis is not called haktara. How do I know that? That's from the word call. And how do I know a ruvo minai? And how do I know if it's in a mixture? Kishaino be'ein ela meura v'nivla im mincha hogenes. Let's say you have it mixed up in a in a, in a proper carbon mincha. Shel matzos, which is made out of matzah, doesn't have any chametz. You have a little bit soor that that kind of chametz that's not supposed to be there. It's mixed up in a good uh, in a good carbon mincha. La'acha shepita don deino be'ein. After already you've crumbled it up, it's no longer be'ein. You can't see the soor anymore. How do you know that's going to be a problem? And that the brisa learns out from kikol. And so now the Gemara brings its proof. Man shamad le darish kol. Who's the one that darshan's kol? Because this brisa is darshaning kol in order to include if it's a half a zayis. That's Rabbi Eliezer. We just said that was Rabbi Eliezer before. The Kadarish Kikol, the same brisa is darshan in Kikol. So to that, the Gemara says, Kasha, you're right, we actually have a difficulty with this. In other words, the Gemara doesn't answer this, Kasha. If you're going to say that you can darshan Kol and Kikol, why doesn't Rabbi Eliezer just say that one of those is going to, is going to include women to get kares, and then the other one is going to, to include even Tyrovas to get kares? That we don't know. We're not sure why he doesn't use Kikol to include Tyrovas for, for kares. Gemara now continues. Amr Rabbi Avo, Amr Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Avo says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Kali Surin Shabbat Torah, all Isurin in the Torah, Ein Heter Mitztaref Iser. You do not have a situation where Heter will join together with Iser to complete your Shear. Chutz Me Isure Nazir, except in the case of Nazir, Share Omra Torah Mishras. That's learned out of the Pasuk when it talks about a Nazir to keep away from grapes, it says Mishras. And we'll see about that in Rashi. Uzi'iri Omar, and Zi'iri says, Af Saor Bal Taktiru. Also, when it comes to Saor, when it comes to Karba Mincha, that it shouldn't have any Saor, it shouldn't have any Chametz, you shouldn't burn that on the Mizbeach, there also we're going to say that Heter is Mitztarev to Iser. So take a look at Rashi. Rashi says, In Heter Mitztarev to Iser, Achal Chatsi Zayis Chelev, the Chatsi Zayis Basar Vasachas. For example, let's say you had a half a Kazayis of Chelev, which is not kosher, and you had a half a Kazayis of meat, which is kosher, you put them together, Ain heter mashlem as shiro iser l'chayvo. You're not going to say, well, yet a full kazaya, so now you're chayv for eating the prohibited chaylev. You don't say that. Chutz me isure nazir. The exception is by nazir. Shemachal chatsi zayis anovim vechatsi zayis lechem vevasachas. If a nazir eats only a half a zayis of grapes together with a half a zayis of bread, chayv, he actually is going to be chayv. Shareyom retorim mishras anovim lo yishta chayv, meaning 
Al Shariyas Pito Bayayin. We learn from Mishras, if you soak the bread in wine, Vika Miyayin Lechuda Kazayas Lamali Krana, if there was already a Kazayas of wine, that you wouldn't need a Pasuk. So Mishras is coming to tell you that even in that case where the bread is is making it a Kazayas, without the bread you don't have a Kazayas, you're going to be Chayev by Nazir. And then Ziri comes along and says, Af Saur Bal Taktiru Nami Hetamit Starif Isr. Also by Saur, meaning by Karb Minchi have Chomets in it. That you're not allowed to burn the chametz on the mizbeach. That also we're going to say heters mitzdarif leisur, meaning chazi zayis kometz the saor. If you have a chazi zayis of the kmitza of the saor, the chazi zayis the matzah, and a half a zayis of matzah, the ein on meurav and elakol echad nicker, they're not mixed together. It's all nicker each each one. We're going to say it joins together, and you violated the iser of saor bal taktiru. So now the gemara says, keman, who does this follow? Kreb Eliezer the darish kol. Apparently. If you are saying that Sa'or Baal Taktiru includes, even in a situation where you have Hetem and Star of Laser, apparently Ziri is following Rabbi Eliezer who Darshan's call. Rashi over here says, Rabbi Eliezer the Darsh call the eel. That's exactly what the Bryce has said. What if you only have a half a Zayas? Tamid Lomar call. Pasuk says call. Vidarish Lehachi. We're understanding as follows. Mixasso minayin. What does it mean you only have a half a Zayas? Chatsi Zayas Sa'or, Vachatsi Zayas Matsa Imo. You have a half a Zayas of Sa'or, and you have a half a Zayas of Matsa with it. That's exactly what Sa'iri is including. That follows Rebbe Eliezer. So the Gemara asks, Iyachi, if so, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Memdalid Omid Aleph.